Hi everyone, it's Jamie. I'm from the Milton Public Library and I'm here today to bring you the February Library Short. During the month of February, we are partnering with the Rock County Children's Museum to bring you lessons and activities having to do with the solar system. So today I thought we would do some solar system math. We're gonna be making craters and also doing an asteroid toss. So the things that you'll need today are hopefully all things that you have around the house. You're gonna need Play-Doh, a golf ball or some other kind of small, hard ball, tin foil. Um, you can use playing cards. Um, I'm gonna be using playing cards to make numbers, draw numbers. If you don't have cards at home, you can use um, dice or you can just write numbers on a paper and use that. And then you're also going to need um, a bucket. That's gonna be our black hole. The first thing we'll do for the asteroid toss is take a piece of tin foil and you're actually going to be um, tearing this into strips and then once you get the strips made you can make tiny little balls that are going to be our asteroids or meteors or whatever you want to call it. You can make the balls as big or as small as you'd like. I'm going to make mine fairly small because my bucket is pretty small. And you'll just wad them up like this. All right, so um, I'm set up on the floor now getting ready for our activity. I actually made a few more of these little asteroid balls. You're gonna wanna have at least as many um, as what is on your dice, the highest number on your dice or the highest number on your playing cards or number cards. And then you can set up your bucket, your black hole bucket, get your cards or dice out. And all you're gonna be doing is drawing a card and counting out that number of asteroids and throwing them in the black hole. If you wanna make it a little bit more difficult, you can make more of these little asteroid balls and then draw two cards or roll two numbers and um, then add them together. Um, but then you'll just have to make sure you have more of these ready to go. So let's give it a try. All right, so there we have our scary black hole bucket set up across the library. And I'm gonna draw my first card. It is a number seven. So I'm going to try to toss seven of my little asteroid balls into the black hole. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, there was six, seven. All right, so one of them didn't make it in there, but we tossed seven into the black hole. I hope you have fun with that one. Remember, um, you can do it several different ways depending on the age of the kids trying it. If you'd rather do this with um, toddlers and they can't really aim to throw it inside the bucket, you can have them just um, drop it in the bucket. Um, you can even, them ha or even have them use a spoon or um, kid tweezers to try to pick them up to work on fine motor. Um, so it's kind of up to you, but it's definitely a fun counting activity to do with kids. All right, for the second activity, I'm actually gonna lay down a piece of foil um, just to protect my table um, because I'm gonna be using Play-Doh. You can use Play-Doh or clay or anything that you can make an impression in. Um, I have my nice brown planet colored Play-Doh here. And we're gonna pretend like this is the surface of a planet or the surface of a moon. Um, which a lot of times we'll get craters. So the first thing you wanna do is just smooth out your piece of Play-Doh, make it nice and flat. You can use some kind of roller to roll it out if you want. You may need more than one piece of Play-Doh um, to make a larger surface area, depending on how large your cards or dice um, go up to. All right, I have that rolled out pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna grab my cards for this and then um, my golf ball. And basically what you're gonna do for this, it's just another type of, different type of counting game. So we'll draw um, out of our deck 
we get um, a 10. I think that's what I drew last time. And whatever number you have on here, that's the number of craters that you're gonna make in your um, surface. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I'm gonna cut it close. Nine, 10. All right, so I've made 10 craters on the surface of my Play-Doh planet. And that's all you do for this one. I hope you had fun with these simple math solar system activities. Just something easy to do that is a little bit different than just traditional counting and you can modify it to whatever fits your needs. Check out all the other library shorts videos brought to you by the different Rock County libraries and definitely check out the Rock County Children's Museum activities for the month of February that have to do with the solar system. It'll be far out. Bye.